Hi, I'm Dominic Julie, and we're at the wonderful venue, Elixir Bondi Junction, and we're here to go through some high-intensity water workouts. The two workouts we're going to focus on is increased speed of movement in the water to increase the heart rate and plyometric jumping to go through the roof. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is jog on the spot. So whenever we get started in the water, we're just going to start off with a simple jog and make sure that everyone's doing this safely with perfect posture. So we're looking at lifting the ribs. So cue lifting the ribs. Mention about balancing the book on the head so the neck is long, good alignment, good range of movement. So if you have a look through with Debbie and Ghislaine, elbows pulling all the way back, knees coming up to the hip line with a strong focus on pushing the heels down to the ground. So make sure you can feel it. Can you feel it? Strong feeling of pushing the foot down to the ground like you're on a foot pump. That's the best uh, analogy or visualization I can think. So push through, simple increase in speed where you can go into a sprinting action. Are you ready? Have a look at the white water that we get. One, two, three, let's go. Here we go, hold your head up high. You're still balancing that book on your head. Fantastic. It's a wonderful example of a high intensity workout simply by upping the speed of movement. Let's now go to a star jump action. So what I'm gonna cue is hands and feet inside, push out and come back in. Simple movement and we're gonna keep it simple. Girls facing each other now, working the arms out and in with the legs. Simple curry as you push through. Three, two, we're gonna increase the speed. Let's go, double time, out and in, out, in. We've got the girls facing each other so they can inspire each other with their turbulence. I wanna see a little bit more white water over here. Let's go, Gerlaine, go, go, go. Look, Debbie, push and pull, push and pull. Be inspired, don't forget to breathe while you're working out. Book balancing on the top of the head. Well done, great. So what you wanna do is when you're cueing some of this high intensity work, when members are facing each other, they inspire each other and the competitive spirit comes out. So it's wonderful to be able to work in pairs sometimes. Let's go to our next training opportunity is plyometric jumping. So we're gonna start with a simple kanga jump. I'll show you side on because I want the legs to stay long on the jump and with the elbow lifting. Lift. Lift, lift, lift. We're gonna start off with a small lift and then we're gonna take it up for a bit more high in intensity. Wonderful. Have a look here at the elbows pulling back. We're gonna change up the arms a little bit now by pushing the palms. So still lifting the elbows, pushing the palms back. Girls, can you feel that in your triceps? Yes, strong tricep workout as you finish off that push. One of the beautiful things about swimming is that you get a pull and a push, and the push is the greater acceleration through the water, engaging the triceps. So try and if you're a swimmer, engage some of the principles of water in your exercises. Let's take that now into a Kanga flick. So it's gonna be higher intensity and we're gonna go higher in the water. Are you ready? So we're jumping up and we're adding a dolphin kick. So it's a big jump and flick. What we're gonna do is offer two options here. So Ghislaine is going to pull back a little bit. Debbie's gonna power it up. So here we go, we go up, we flick both feet. There's a little bit more height on this jump, but you want people to work within a safe range. Uh, people come to aquarobics because sometimes they have lower back issues and they wanna strengthen their core in the water safely. So by offering people to work within a safe range is really important as an instructor. Let's take that into the third level now with plyometric jumping. And this is really simple, clean, fun in the water. We're gonna increase the surface area on the up phase, push down on the down phase by lifting the knees to the chest. Simple tuck jump, I'll show you side on. We're going up, pushing the hands down or pushing the hands back, are two good options. I'm gonna ask you to push the hands back. I might get you to face each other again and challenge each other, you're ready. Up we go, push back with the hands and tuck. Push back, hold your head up high. You're balancing that book on your head. You're keeping the upper body as still as possible. Come on, a little bit more on the up. Push, push, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Wonderful. Turn around, face me again. Let's put that together in a routine now. We're going to go for eight with a kanga jump, four with a flick, four with a knee bend. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's bounce it. Eight, seven, little. Six, five, four, three. Cue little jumps. Let's flick. Four, three, two. Hold your head up high. One, tuck jumps, knees up. Four, three, hold your head up high. Two, one, and well done. Wonderful routine, really work hard. Lots of white water on the surface of the water. Plyometric jumping is a killer in the water with all the resistance. What you'll want to inform your participants by educating them that when you're jumping in the water, you land with only 30% of your body weight. So it's a really safe place to do plyometric jumping, probably the ideal place because of the resistance of the water and the gentle landing. I hope you enjoy your plyometric jumping and increased speed of movement with all your routines. And we'll catch you for the next video.